everybody. It's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And this is take two. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened in a minute. But I am here today. Uh, when you're watching this video, it'll be Veterans Day here in the United States in 2024. And I just thought in my spirit of practicing gratitude in the month of November and hopefully every day, right, I would make a mini project that is in honor of the veterans in my life um, and my family. I didn't get all of them. I don't have pictures of all of them, but I certainly enjoyed making this super easy flip book. I like that it's on a ring because I, I'm gonna we're gonna make a page, at least one together, and it's super easy and add it in. I even have one here already made that we can add in from the video that just got destroyed. Um, <laughs> So let me show you what I made. And again, the pages can end up in, or they do, they end up in different a different order. And I kind of like that because, you know, it's hard to decide which page to put first when you see what I've done. So I made little pocket pages. So each page has a top load pocket with something in it, or eventually will, they will have something in it. I liked having the idea of the star running through the journal, so I did add one of those. This paper kit, I think the name of it is Vintage American Man, and it's by My Porch Prints. And if you're interested, I will link it for you in the description. And it has like all of these kind of collage -y kinds of papers. This was a whole page of these that you could just use as a paper, but I cut the stars out. Um, it's a lot of papers like this. Some are in more neutrals. And then some have more of those red, white, and blue colors. But then there's pages that have just pieces of ephemera, some pockets, and it's not just like military. So very, I think it's quite versatile. There's uh, eagles, and there's the Golden Gate Bridge, and there's football players, and baseballs, and baseball players, and just all kinds of things. I guess they think men would like motorcycles, trucks, you know, those kinds of things. There is a page I've used some of these, but they had some stamps, and yep, there's baseball. So so anyway, that's what I chose to use, and it's all kind of old and vintage-y. So mine, real quick, I wrote Brave and Loyal, and then this is a image. That's my grandfather, Harry, um, during World War II, and that was Thanksgiving, a Thanksgiving meal when he was in France. So this says, Gratitude turns what we have into enough. One of my favorite gratitude quotes. Up oh, there's Harry again. That's Harry. And... I just backed these with some of the tags and papers. That's my cute husband. He retired from the Army. He's a Chief Warrant Officer. His name's Dan. So there he is. And then I think that's when he was either in Iraq or Afghanistan. So then this says Forever Grateful. This is, um, gosh, my cousin Malcolm, and I'm trying to remember when this was because, of course, I was not born. This is my mother's cousin, and I am going to say this was the Korean War. And then here is another photo that has my grandfather. I have a lot more of my grandfather than others um, during World War II. Thank you for your service. That's my grandpa. Grandpa Harry. And then there's my Uncle Dale. This is my father's oldest brother. He was a Marine, served multiple tours in Vietnam. And then thank you for your courage. What's in this one? I put something in here. Oh, there's one of the little eagles. Just backed it with that. And then there's, I think, my wonderful father. Yep, there's Paul. I've told you guys about him. He was also a Marine and served in Vietnam. So there's Daddy. So again, depending on how you flip it, will depend on, you know, which picture and, and which quote comes first and I kind of like that that it can end up in different orders let's see so this is like as basic and simple as you can get I do want to find a hole punch that has a little bit larger hole because the ring that I chose is a little bit big for this one to have them actually flip all the way around but that's okay so all I did to make these cute little pocket pages is I cut my paper into strips that measure eight inches by three inches so that when you fold it in half, you end up with a page that measures three by four. 
and I did use my walnut stain distress ink my walnut um, to stick with that kind of vintagey feel this paper definitely has with all the browns and just inked and then when you glue the page together all you do is add glue to the bottom if you can get your glue to come out and along one side and then that leaves the top open for you to put some treasures you can put more photos you could put i like i have some letters and different things like for my my father and my grandfather that i could either make copies of if I wanted to and put in. That would be fun, um, like a fun gift for my brother um, or my cousins. Um, so yeah, lots of options, lots of choices. Then I just take one of the pages or go ahead and make however many more I wanna add. I'm gonna add these to this actual book, um, our little journal, and I'm going to poke the hole. And then I'll be able, oh, and then I did, like I said, I liked the idea of having these stars run through each page. So I have a star on one side and then some type of photo on another. So I'm going to, it doesn't really matter where you put it. I've usually oriented mine more to the left or more to the right and added a word or something of gratitude or a reflection I guess or a thought about that I have about veterans and there you go and again some of the stars are a little bigger than others doesn't matter if it didn't fit I could have trimmed it down <laughs> so there we go and I have two more pages that I can now decorate and add photos and things to so I'm going to just open up my ring again can't be easier than that right and stick them on all right, I hope you guys like that. You could, if you wanted to, you know, add ribbons. You you could go to town. And I think this is great, any, any theme, right? Any time of the year for a little memento, a way to share maybe photos. Or, again, you could do gratitude cards in here. Or um, this would be a fun Thanksgiving project where you could use fall papers and, um have everybody write some things they're thankful for and then stick them in the pockets and have it to look at next year. You know, you can make all kinds of traditions out of little simple, simple books like this. So, all right. Thanks, Uncle Dale. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside because I had promised you guys, oh, let me tell you what happened in the other video. So, I'd gotten all the way through the crafting part and I had already shared I forgot to tell you because it's hard to remember when you're repeating yourself in videos what you've said and what you haven't but I'm going to share with you guys some of my scrapbooks as I had promised and so if you already dropped off you're going to miss out <laughs> I'll try to remember to put something in the either the title or the description to tell people um just to really quick give y'all a peek at scrapbooks of mine from back in the day and I just think it's kind of fun to look at to see the different kinds of techniques and how much for me anyway my crafting has evolved so I have a whole bunch of scrapbooks this is one of the small ones um, especially documenting my children's lives um, when they were younger it's Daniel and Sarah Peter Pan and Tinkerbell at Halloween um, and I only I only pulled out a few. We're not going to look at every page or read every word, but to I to me it was more looking at the techniques. Like I just the borders, the squares with the stickers, the the rub ons. I still love to use eyelets and round corners. Um, of course, my journaling that was a big thing with creative memories was doing all the stickers and the, the titles and having things hopefully be somewhat symmetrical, but we would also really challenge each other to do actually real journaling. There's my brother. Um, there's my beautiful mother and my father. Sarah was a newborn. It's Daniel, Sally, and Paul. So yeah, and the colors, uh, the paint pens, again, the stickers, you could get, I don't know why that one was blank, you could, um, the different punches, right, all the different themed sticker packs with, you know, these are puffy stickers, I don't know, just crazy, there's my dad playing marbles with Daniel on the floor, so again, lots of fun, my mom's 60th birthday, 
um, and she died five years later. Um, my brother. Yeah. So it's my cousin, Marcy, a lot, my aunt Susan, lots of fun family pictures. And it's so funny to me looking at it. And then I also spent a lot of time in this, the big 12 by 12 babes, like, and this is what happened to the video. I was flipping through and I'm going to be very careful this time. I don't know what all you guys can see, but I'm not going to worry about it. Um, because I was trying to move the scrapbook around so much, I knocked the camera completely off, flew across the room and the recording was gone. So there you go. Not that I know how to edit it. Sarah had cut her hair there. Um, to uh, fix it, but it's gone. So there you go. Um, this cracks me up. These p stickers that are on all the pop dots. Um, I interviewed the kids, asked them questions. I will be very grateful. This is a page Sarah did when she was little. She used to always draw people like that. She's now an artist. She's a of, she went to art school and is a photographer and is very, very talented. But I just think that's so funny. Okay, so lots and lots and lots of scrapbooks and um, lots of sticker usage stamps. I got into stamping all these letters on this page. I stamped and cut out by hand. Um, too funny to me looking back. Lots of family memories. And they're good memories. The colors, look at that. Woo. The borders, so you had a border here. So then the next two-page layout, you know, you wanted it to uh, reflect or be similar. Cracks me up. It cracks me up. Okay, let's see. I ha and, and again, I'm not going to go through all of them. But like, here's another one. And this one's a little bit, it's the same big old pages. But this was documenting a vacation of ours. Um, we took the kids... They were both born in St. Louis, and we went back to see friends. It's baby Wyatt. Um, yeah, look at these letters. It's hysterical to me, um, and, and, and I loved it. I loved it. Now, this one I did want to show you guys, because this has a lot of my really old, like, older family photos. This is a letter my grandfather wrote to my mom when she was in college. So even though this is still in that scrapbook style, I'm glad that I took the time. These are the original, many of the original photos. And I can kind of make fun of this a little bit, you know, even though I still treasure it and love it, but it did protect the pictures. I will say that being so specific about the archival quality of the materials. Now I don't worry about it and I just do whatever, but I also try not to put the original photos in, but I do think the photos are aging much better, the newspaper clippings, since I did that. So that's good. So anyway, I just think, look at my beautiful mom. Um, I love, love, love having, this is probably one of my most, most prized possessions. It's my dad when he was a little boy. My grandmother, grandparents, aunts, uncles. There's Dale that I showed you guys um, in the veterans book that I made. It's so my father as a baby. There's me as a tiny girl. Again, they're not always in chronological order. This is the night, I hope you guys can see, um, before my dad left for Vietnam. It was 1965. My grandmother, Sarah. Sarah Jo that my daughter's named after and my aunt here's my aunt <laughs> that's also Sarah Sarah Jo so yeah just fun fun memories the stickers like I say I would like I had sticker books galore and I would pour through them these are all uh, diamond shapes that I cut out and made that pattern on the paper that's me my red hair before I was a silver sparkle, <laughs> my brother had hair. So some of these were faded way before I put them in the scrapbook. I know I'm going fast. If you guys really want to, I guess you can pause. But anyway, I hope you guys like, um, we would get these packets of borders that were already cut out. Look at these stickers. Hysterical. Lots of time, uh, lots of money. My grandparents, Sarah Jo and Willis Jo. Um, you know, lots of time, lots of resources. These are some of the oldest. Um, 
This is 1918. 1923, 1931, 37. This is my grandmother, Sarah Jo. And I had that white paint pen I wrote on the black paper. I was very proud of myself. There's me in the little pool with my brother. There's Harry. Okay, my very handsome father. So lots of photos. I'm very blessed. Lots of memories, um, lots of great things. And all of that crafting has evolved into me loving junk journaling and having a little more free of a style and I treasure all of it. It's a wonderful thing and it's a wonderful gift to have been able to craft through the years. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and the simple, simple project I had for you today. Um, happy Veterans Day. Thank you everyone for your service and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment.